everybody. Uh, my name is Scott. Uh, if I if we've not met yet, and I am from Loveland, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cincinnati. And uh, I, as far as anything that's changed over the past year, I think that uh, I, we're, I'm just in the midst uh, with my wife of raising four kids that are in their emerging adulthood years uh, from 19 to 24. And, uh, and it's and a lot of this reading that we've been doing has been very relevant to my current context. In fact, I wish some of these books I would have had like about 15, 20 years ago. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's, bit, it's an interesting ride. You know, you think that uh, you're done when they go off to college, but that's not true. There's still a lot going on in their 20s and, and uh, especially in the, our current context. And so it's been it's been interesting to see that. As far as ideas from reading, I mean, I think anything from the toxic purity culture uh, that uh, that we have, and what what biblical purity might look like, uh, is a thought. Uh, my, you know, a lot of what's going on with racism and and uh, Black Lives Matter and and just the context of of our modern day uh, issues with with that. Uh, I've been heavy on my mind, but I think the biggest thing that I've been wrestling with is this idea of the nuns. Uh, I, I wonder, I wonder if we aren't paying attention to the fact that there's a lot of kids in their twenties that are deconstructing their faith and we need to provide for them an opportunity to deconstruct in such a way where they can also uh, find the means to reconstruct a faith that is meaningful to them and uh, still holds to Orthodox Christianity. So, so, and then how can we encourage that growth process that I think sanctification actually is deconstructing and reconstructing over and over and over again? Uh, because if, if you just stop, it, 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 that can be bad. Uh, so, so I'm just, so I got a lot of thoughts about deconstructing and what is it, what is that? What do they mean by that? And how can we help in that context of, uh, helping a person, uh, go through what, what are they deconstructing from and how can we help them reconstruct a vibrant faith? So can't wait to see you guys in September. I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, here's to hoping that everything goes well so that we can still meet. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>